Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Cat Tutorials for Beginners to Advance. So in this lecture, uh, let's discuss about the next uh, type of sweep command in generative shape design. That is uh, the circle profile type with one guide curve and tangency surface. So again, let us start with the uh, generative shape design. So start shape and the generative shape design. So let's click on OK here. So now we are in the generative shape design. So you can see uh, on this icon here, you can see you are in the generative shape design. So let us see uh, what are the inputs required for this uh, uh, type here. So we'll just click on the sweep here and it, it will open up the sweep, uh, surface definition dialog box. So just uh, click on the uh, profile type circle and then here uh, in the drop down you can see uh, uh, the second last option which is nothing but a one guide and tangency surface. So just click on it and you can see uh, we need to provide one guide curve here so you can see this g is nothing but a guide curve and then tangency surface so this is s is uh, nothing but a surface here so and, and then at the last we need to provide the radius here so again uh, uh, this uh, uh, basically this radius uh, should be like uh, the distance between the uh, surface here the tangency surface and the uh, guide here it should be uh, at least d by 2 Okay, so the distance between this uh, tangency surface, which we can say the limit curve till that uh, guide curve here. So that distance should be at least d by 2. So we can we can uh, try this out uh, with the help of practical demonstration. And then as usual, we can have uh, this uh, relimiters. We can use the relimiters uh, options here with this uh, command. So let's cancel this and uh, let's see uh, with the practical demonstration. So here uh, first we'll create one tangency surface. So let's create one. So let's uh, select the position sketch and uh, draw on the front plane here and then keep the axis system as it is and then he here you are in the sketcher now okay so uh, let's create again one arc uh, one circular arc here so select the center and then select one point here and then select second point so again just uh, provide a dimension let's provide as 100 mm and then exit the workbench so now we can use uh, the extrude command to extrude this uh, surface here to extrude the profile so let's select the extrude here and then uh, you can see it's automatically uh, showing up the preview as well so you can just reverse the direction and then uh, provide the dimension to uh, 300 let's preview and then click on ok so we have uh, our tangency surface ready with us now and here we can we can create one guide curve so again uh, let's uh, draw a profile on the uh, top plane here so let's reverse this and then uh, swap this axis and now we can see v on the positive y direction and h on the positive h, uh, x direction okay so here uh, let's create a line again just create a line just create this line here and uh, let's uh, see uh, no, just for a demonstrative purpose let's provide the dimension here let's provide it as 250 and then uh, exit the workbench so let's exit this and now we can uh, we can uh, go for the uh, sweep here so uh, we have the guide curve with us so if you just uh, expand this so the sketch 2 is nothing but a guide curve 1 and tangency surface is this one okay so uh, let's uh, select the guide curve and then the tangency surface so now you can see right uh, this is nothing but one, uh, 250 uh, we have uh, in, in uh, the distance between the uh, tangency surface limit curve and then uh, this is the guide curve so if you, if you keep this radius as uh, 20 it is going to throw an error so you can see there uh, there is no solution for this operation so let's try to change uh, let's say one 250 divided by 2 and if you click on preview again it will it will uh, be an exact one so so again uh, this will throw an error so let's uh, try increasing it let's say one one maybe let's say let's try 126 what it happens and now you can see uh, so at least it should be d by 2 so approximate you, you can consider like 126 it will be possible to create a sweep surface uh, which is tangent to the tangent surface here and just click on ok and you will see uh, the sweep has been created so again uh, if you can change the radius here uh, if you want to change it to 150 then you can do that here 
you can see the the surface is getting changed again let's try uh, 200 and you can see uh, the surface has again changed let's try uh, maybe 250 so in this way you can you can try and uh, you can uh, uh, fit uh, fit it as per your requirement here uh, just uh, double click on the sweep here again and then uh, you can see the different uh, solutions now okay so the first solution is uh, this one uh, you can see the, the uh, sweep is created here now uh, and it's taking the other other age around so because we have increased the radius right again uh, the second solution is, uh, is this one the second solution is this one which we already uh, discussed and let's say if we if we uh, let's try again 126 just click on okay now you can see there is only one solution with this radius okay so so based on the radius uh, you will get uh, different solutions um, well, let's try one more if you try to uh, add uh, 300 so again you can see there are two uh, solutions available just click on okay and you can see there are two solutions okay now now there is uh, a relimiter as well so you can you can also uh, use this one so let's create a relimiter uh, on this uh, guide curve here so just to create a relimiter you can you can just right click on this no selection field and just create a plane here so once you uh, click on it the plane definition dialog box comes up and then you can change the plane type to normal to the curve so i i, I want to uh, create a plane on which is normal to this curve right so you can select this curvature here and then uh, you can see the plane has been created here uh, but it is by default in the middle middle of the curve right? if you want to change it you can just right click here and then you can uh, select a create a point and then again in the uh, point type you can just select the on curve and you can just lock this so click to disable automatic type change so sometimes uh, it get, gets automatically changed based on the uh, geometry we have selected so just make sure that you you are locking this uh, so that it will remain the same whichever you have selected so until we select any other uh, it, it will be uh, it will remain locked okay so just select this curve, curve here and then uh, you can uh, simply uh, select the ratio here so if you don't want to uh, keep it in the middle you can just uh, uh, add, add any any uh, ratio here so let's say if, if you want to uh, provide at uh, 0.75 distance you can see here it is showing so just click on ok and you can see the, the plane is moved to that particular uh, point so again click on ok and uh, now uh, you can see uh, in the swip, uh, surface definition just click on the preview and you can see uh, this is the uh, blue color uh, surface which is we are we are uh, creating with this swept surface definition this is change and uh, which is really limited in between this uh, plane and the original plane so if you want to uh, move it to the other direction you can just uh, change the direction here and again click on preview and you can see the surface is getting created on the other side now just click ok so th these these are the very important uh, uh, sweep types uh, uh, we generally use uh, while designing any any product here so make sure you you uh, you are aware of these uh, uh, types so that you can uh, design your product effectively so again if you want to change uh, something let's say if you want to change the uh, plane here just click on that plane icon if you want to change the uh, point location or point ratio so just click on the point here and it will ask you uh, for the uh, uh, ratio again so in the point definition dialog so you can provide it here let's say uh, if you want to provide it as uh, ratio here just click ok and click ok so you can see the plane has been moved again if you want to uh, reverse direction of it if you don't want it here if you don't want it here on this other direction you can just click on the reverse here and you can see uh, the uh, point has been moved to that particular uh, position so again 0.9 so this is nothing but uh, from this green point it is at a 0.9 ratio okay if you keep, uh, keep it as one then it will be at the end of the line if you uh, keep it zero it will be at the start of the line again if you reverse it it will be on the other direction so based on the uh, ratio and based on the options you use uh, uh, it will uh, show you the exact location of that particular point so again click on ok just click here and then uh, just click on the preview and you can see here it is creating now and again if you just uh, change the direction here 
if you click preview you can see the whole uh, area is covering with the swift surface so just click ok again if you if you want to uh, add uh, the one more relimiter which is relimiter 2 you can do that uh, just uh, create one more plane and again select the curve here so just select this curvature and let's keep it as at, at a middle now just click on ok just try to preview it and you can see uh, the sweep has been created in between these two relimiters the plane 1 and plane 2 so just click ok and this way you can you can uh, make use of this sweep commands so again if you want to use another solution let's uh, change it to previous here and it will be one here just click on preview and ok and you can see the solution has been changed so in this way uh, you can use this uh, uh, sweep commands uh, in uh, katia so thank you so much for watching this video hope you have enjoyed watching it please do subscribe our youtube channel for such more videos thank you so much